Hi, welcome to the Absolutely Improvised Monologue. I'm Paul Briel, the Absolutely Improvised Monologuist. So here's kind of how it goes. People send me one-word prompts. Find me on Facebook, Twitter. You can do them down here in the uh, uh, text, in the comments. And I'll use that another one. And then I have one take, one monologue, no edits, no special effects, no music, just me and my brain. Uh, the character Porkchop has developed from there, and so many of the, most of the stories uh, are Porkchop related. Uh, he is a very verbose cat from McKinley Park. So, um, let's go. So I was thinking, maybe it's time. Maybe it's time to, uh, you know, go out and find somebody. Uh, you know, we've been over this. This ain't new. This ain't new material. We've been over this about me with the kids and getting a dog and Judge Judy and a goddamn Twinkies in the old style. But here's the thing. I'm a man with a great capacity for love. I need someone to give that love to because it's all bottled up inside of me. You know, it's all bottled up inside of me. All this love. I got all the love I want to give to somebody. Nobody wants pork chops love. Uh, it ain't that they don't want it. It's that they don't know it exists. They don't know it's out there because, you know, it's always been Gail. Since, since, I was, since I could remember what a girl looked like all the way to this moment. It's always been Gail. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna try and have a date on Saturday. I'm very nervous. Um, Gladys from the from the job, she got a, a sister. Um, her sister's name is Clotilda. And Clotilda has agreed to uh, to meet me uh, at the Archview on Saturday evening. You know, have a little bite to eat. Maybe, you know, hang out, talk a little bit. I got to tell you, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I ain't had a no time alone with a woman is my whole life. Anyway, Friday comes. Gladys comes by. I'm at work doing a thing, doing a thing. Gladys comes by. Hey, Gladys. I've never seen that kind of shade of green on a hair for a woman. She said, oh, pork chop, you're so cute. You're such a flirt. If I wasn't married for 60 years to Jack, who'd knock your block off, I'd be all over you. I said, ah, Gladys, I'd let you. How's Clotilda? She said, she'll see you tomorrow at the view at 7 o'clock. Lovely. Saturday morning, I get up, put my feet on the floor, get up out of the bed, and I'm shaking. I'm so nervous. I look at the clock, it's 9 a.m. I got a long day of nervousness. So uh, the one thing I do, because Gail always wanted me to do it if we were going someplace nice, is I shave. Just here, you know, just shave this. Because uh, trim this a little bit, but shave, shave, shave. And then I go do my yard work, you know, sweep the porch, feed the feral cats, uh, do all the stuff I do, rinse out the bird bath, all that stuff. I don't know what they call it, a bird bath. It gets dirty. The birds are dirty in there. They're laying in there getting all, all dirty with the dirt. Anyway. So it's about 5 o'clock. I go inside. I, I get out the wax. I, I come through my, my little, my little chin, chin whiskers here. Get in a shower. Wash everything. Wash some things twice. I'm good. Get out. I get out my best pair of cargo pants. My nice shoes. I got this real nice shirt. I like to wear this nice shirt because I want to impress this uh, Clotilda. So I'm all ready to go. Put on a little bit of the Old Spice. Right? Put on my good pork pie. Not my storytelling trilby, but my good pork pie. And I get out in the car and I start the engine. And while the car is well I'm settling you know you, you know you gotta settle sometimes in the car and I look at the dashboard there 
And there's a picture of me and Gail from my romantical trip over up the street block to, to Indiana State Beach. And we're looking at each other. We're smiling. We're laughing. It's a beautiful picture. And I can't take my eyes off it. And my first thought is I should put it in my pocket because if Clotilda does end up getting in the car and she sees it, she might expect the wrong idea. And then I realized it was the wrong idea. It ain't time. It may never be time. I may never be the guy who finds the girl. I had my shot. I had my life. It was the best in the world. I had the best wife you could ever imagine, the best kids money could buy. So maybe uh, maybe I don't go see Clotilda. Maybe I sit in my car and listen to the radio and look at that picture of me and Gail. And maybe, maybe Clotilda and Gladys, maybe they'll understand, maybe they won't. Maybe Jack will knock my block off. Maybe he won't. But after about a half an hour in the car, I go back inside and I get a can of old style and a Twinkie and I turn on Judge Judy. And I know that Gail's looking down on me. She probably wants me to be happy, but right now I'm about as happy as I'm going to be.